So as usual, I'll be the bigger man. A truce? Bruce. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. And thanks to all the new subscribers, means a lot to us. If you are new to this channel, give us a like and a subscribe. Click that bell to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. A lot of fans would like to see the Snyderverse restored. I am someone who enjoyed the Matt Reeves Batman movie and is looking forward to more Zack Snyder Helm universe material with these characters that he so loves. I love what we got in those movies and there is hope. Hope I'm speaking of in terms of Jared Leto and also dark side actor Ray Porter who a week ago spoke with the Geek House show. Porter was asked whether there was any chance that there would be more movies by Zack Snyder in the DC universe. To which he said there's always hope. There is always hope. I don't know anything about it and I think a lot of moving parts would have to shift into place for it to occur but that's way above my pay grade. He goes on to say that he does not know much but he does know that this fandom the Snyderverse fandom if they desire something enough can move mountains I believe the fans and I have hope he believes in the fans and has hope you combine that with the release of Eric Christensen's art for the Batman he just released more stuff earlier some Batarang stuff here, the way it folds up like a switchblade. Absolutely cool. I love I love these designs. And of course, the Deathstroke helmet, a little bit more close-up stuff of the Deathstroke helmet. And he goes on to detail that he thought, uh, in exploration, that he thought it might be cool if there was a track arcing up the eye that various bits of lens tech could slide into. I was also looking into incorporating parts from older flight helmets to bring a bit of history. Would have liked to explore more is what he says uh, and then he goes on to actually someone asked him about notes that he got in and the only note I remember getting was maybe his suit incorporates some modern and maybe vintage military elements the whole project shifted before I could get my feedback from Ben Affleck or the studio uh, and then you of course you see that military stuff in, in what he showed us before but let's move on to the meat of the story it's, it's Jared Leto who's going to be Morbius in just a few weeks time over in Sony and the Sonyverse but the Snyderverse he is the Joker. Uh, and of course he was in the David Ayer Suicide Squad, which many people claim is their least favorite of them all. And that movie obviously went through a lot of trauma. David Ayer, you know, was trying really hard to get his vision shown, especially after the Snyder Cut, but that doesn't seem to be something that is on the docket anytime soon. It just doesn't seem to be the fan drive for that so much. But Jared Leto, of course, talking with Variety, went on to talk about Morbius and they asked him of course about the Joker and he says you just never know he kind he didn't say it was over he said it was a the chance of a lifetime is what he called it the chance of a lifetime and who wouldn't call it that you get to be the Joker the clown prince of crime he's never say never the big takeaway from all of this stuff from Ray Porter and Jared Leto here is even more so in the Variety article. I'm sure they're talking about a comic book character, but the press is talking about these movies. The press, the mainstream press, the big boys. Variety isn't, you know, some small movie blog online. That's Variety. That's top tier. There's an interest in the Snyderverse. There's an interest in continuing these characters that were, for the most part, left unfinished. I mean, you could argue, yeah, it ended. The nightmare sequence was a dream. But it was alluding to something. It was going to become a reality. And many people are intrigued as to what that reality could be. Now, the Discovery merger, it's all going down very shortly. We should have answers to that soon, but to the Snyderverse, not so much. We might, you know, after that's all said and done, maybe we learn about more additions to The Flash. Obviously, we know that Aquaman and Wonder Woman are going to be a part of it. But maybe we will learn more about that and maybe more about Ben Affleck's survival of the Flash and where that could lead that character going forward. So a lot to explore, a lot to unpack, but everybody is optimistic, everybody is hopeful, the press is pushing it. Restore the Sinoverse Day is coming up, you're going to see that trending all over the place and if it can be big enough, as Ray Porter said, this fandom can move mountains. Thanks so much for watching everybody. My name is James, give us a like, give us a subscribe and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.